Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my complete guide to BandLab Part 2. How to create, open, close, and save projects. Tap on the BandLab app icon. To create a new project, tap on the red plus icon. Then tap on Open Studio. Next, we need to add our first track to the project. Tap on Voice Audio to add an empty audio track. If you want to record your voice with a microphone. Or tap on Guitar if you want to record an electric or acoustic guitar. Or tap on Bass if you want to record an electric bass guitar. Or tap on Looper if you want to use one of BandLab's preset groups of audio samples. Or tap on Virtual Instruments if you want to create a MIDI instrument track. Or tap on Sampler if you want to create your own audio sample based drum kit or virtual instrument. Or tap on Drum Machine if you want to use BandLab's Step Sequencer drum track. Or tap on Import File if you want to import a MIDI file or audio file. Or tap on BandLab Sounds if you want to add a BandLab audio sample to a new audio track. For now, I will tap on Voice Audio. The project now opens on the Track Record screen. Tap on the X icon to close the Track Record screen and open the Track Clip screen. The project does not automatically save, so you regularly have to save your project yourself. To save your project, tap on the Save to Cloud icon. Tap on Save on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your project. Type in a description of this version of your project if you want. Choose a genre for your song. Then tap on the tick icon to save your project. Your project is not saved to your phone, but instead saved to the BandLab cloud servers on the internet. So make sure your phone has a good internet connection. To close your project, tap on the exit icon. To open a saved project, tap on the projects icon on the app start screen. Tap on the project name. Then tap on Studio in the Current Version section. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!